Okay, now I made a I made a decision to let me just show you the today's date, and I'll tell you what I made a decision about. I'm showing you this icon picture on my phone, which is showing you clearly the date and time. And then I'm going to use the voice command feature to enable the phone to state the date electronically. Say a command. February 14th, Friday, 12:22 p.m. Okay. Now, as you can clearly see that uh, what I'm doing is I'm bagging things up like I talked about yesterday when I made some video files pertaining to some bags being outside of my tent. I forgot, I think I forgot to use my cell phone, okay, to show the date and time yesterday in those two particular videos, but they'll probably be uploaded on the same date as today's date. I mean, I'm sorry, the same date that this video is uploaded on. Okay, and that way you can just, when you, if you choose to look at it, you can see what I was doing on the 13th of February. Now, these are separate bags that I have gotten out today and that I am bagging up. Unfortunately, I found that some things got wet, so I'm going to have to include those in the laundry that I prepared yesterday that I'm going to do. And now, as a result of these two bags being wet, I'm going to have two separate days of laundry to do. That's four days. Because I not only got to go do the laundry, by the time I get back home from doing it, I got to still bag it up on top of making dinner after dark, on top of making dinner, and then the next morning, so what I usually do then is I just bag it up the next morning, okay, and then put, uh, and then the way I'm going to be camouflaging it so it can be dropped off is by me uh, taking these types of black garbage bags, wrapping the, the brown bags once the laundry's done in these types of black garbage bags and then taping them with black electrical tape like you can see right here hanging, and then they'll be dropped off. So two separate sets of laundry in themselves will take four days. Uh, two days to do each each bag, each each set of laundry, and then two days to bag it up, okay? And then, uh, it's, it's actually going to take six days, because then after it gets bagged up, I end up using the remaining amount of that day, preparing the next load of stuff to take. So then you got an additional two days to take those two sets of laundry to the places I'm going to. So that's six days just in uh, preparing at least two separate things to take because uh, pertaining to the laundry aspect of this. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video in order to be able to show you that this is how I'm spending my time. Okay, bagging up my stuff to move it from this G-I-L-L times two, I'm a woman, not a man, H-E location that I've been at for 16 months. Let's see if any landlord attempts to come down here and evict me before I can completely move on my own. And we're gonna see if I'm told at any of the places that I'm dropping my property off at that I can't stay there. That's right, because the whole goal in organized stalking and gang stalking is to make you feel defeated about you making the right choices to keep your sand uh, Basically what they do is, this is the fourth hiking area I've been stalked to, okay? And so, uh, uh, we're going to see if I, at any time when I am going to these places to drop off the property, if anybody confronts me and says, what are you doing, you can't do this, and if you think you're going to camp here, you can't, I'm predicting it right now on today's date. That's right. I've already been gang stalked to these places on the bus routes getting there. People walking by me and gaslighting me with, me with gang stalking physical gestures as I was on the trail before I got off the trail to hide the property that has already been hidden over in those areas. And then on the bus routes after I left the area. That's right. I caught undisputable proof of it too. So. We're gonna see how this all unfolds. And so I just want my, if I have any regular viewers, I want my viewers to know what I'm doing. Because as a result of preparing to move, I haven't been uploading videos on a daily basis and then titling them and so on and so forth, okay? And we're gonna see if any perpetrators get online and act like victims who end up calling the police out of concern because they say they haven't seen none of my videos uploaded lately. And so they're calling the police for safety reasons because they're worried about me. If you don't think that organized stalking, gang stalking perpetrators will not get online, pretend to be targets, and then do what I stated, they literally did it in 2012 in that way. That's right, and they'll get on. Uh, they'll get online and pretend to be victims. Like they'll get online and pretend to be targets who were targeted at a church. That's right. They'll they'll get online and and totally and completely pretend to be fellow targeted individuals, and then they'll act like they're my regular viewers, and then they'll turn around and say, uh, uh, "Well, we better call the police because we haven't seen or heard from Leslie in a, a week or two. That's why I'm showing you what I'm doing." That's right.
That's right, so they can't try and imply that I might be doing other things that God only knows what. Okay? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I want my real viewers to, the ones who are seeing what's happening to me, know how I'm spending my time. Okay, so I'm going to be spending the next 35 to 40 days completely moving out of here. And you, if you knew how I was moving and the security measures I'm taking to protect me and my property, you would completely understand why it's taking me so long to move. Make no mistake about it. All right, I got to go. I'm in San Diego, California. I do appreciate you listening, and have a nice day.